Hi, this is Thomas from Apex Game Tools. In this video, we're going to look at replanning. Now, I'm going to go into what replanning is in just a second. I'll just um, tell you about the scene here. We have a basic scene with a ground, a wall section, and a unit in the corner. So, to explain what re replanning is, I'll just show an example. So, I have my unit in the corner down here, and I want him to move to the opposite corner up here. So I'll set him on his way, and while he's moving, I'm going to block off the access way here. And then, right now, you know, he can't move this way. And as you can see, he realized that after some time, uh, and then he moves. Uh, he gets a new path and moves um, towards the goal. So that's replanning, recognizing that something changed since got its path and then reacting to that by getting a new path to reach the goal. So let's look at the different options. So the default option um, is called dynamic mode. To find it you will find the steer for path component, go to replan mode, the second to last uh, property and as you can see it says dynamic there. That's what we just saw uh, and I'll explain that uh, last so let's look at the others first. So the first we'll look at is no replanning. Pretty much says itself what it does. It simply does nothing. Um, it will not recognize changes made uh, in the scene. So you would be uh, you would be responsible for doing that for the unit if you choose this option. You see that in action. I'm gonna make it move up there, and I'm gonna block it off. And it will just continue and it will bump into the crates in a second because it doesn't know that it has been blocked. There we go. Now it reached it because it was movable, but I mean, yeah. Okay, so the next option is called at interval. Now at interval also is pretty self explanatory. Let's set that to a second instead. Um, it uh, works in conjunction with this down here, the replan interval. So every this interval down here, it will replan, and it will do so no matter what, no changes or loads of changes. So to see that in action, I'll do the same thing, and it will react rather quickly. As you can see, obviously it does so every second, and you can also see that by the blinking of the root. Um, so it will replan every second no matter what. So it's still replanning right now even though no, no changes are made to the scene. So what this means is that well you're sure that you will pick up all changes but you will also use a lot of unnecessary resources on replanning constantly when nothing happens. So that leads us to the dynamic mode which is the recommended mode. Now this also works in conjunction with this interval but just in a different way. Um, dynamic mode means that the unit will only replan when it needs to replan. That means when something has happened in uh, the area where it is that will have affected the path that it is moving along. Now the interval down here controls how often this will take place. So if I make a lot of changes within a very short time, it will only do one replan every half a second. All right. So um, to see this, we will have to go and look at the grid as well, because this is what controls the dynamic replanning. If you've seen the other grid tutorials, you know that we have skipped uh, a few properties on the grid. Um, so these three properties called subse subsection um, are the three that we have still to cover. Now a subsection is simply a, a, a subdivision of the grid into some amount of sections. The default is two sections along the x-axis and two along the z-axis for a total of four subsections with a cell overlap of two. Now, to see that, we have the visualizer down here that has the option of drawing these subsections. 
it is not the best visualization but as you can see we now have some blue lines and they indicate where these subsections are so this following this line and this line here that is one subsection in the top left corner then we have one here in the bottom left corner and we have one here and we have one here and as you can see they overlap each other by two cells now these sections are what um, dynamic replanning are based upon so if things happen inside of a section all units within that section will be notified that something has changed and they will then uh, replan to validate the path or if the path has become invalid they will get a new path so that is basically it um, so to see that in action, you saw that when we started out, but I'll just show you again uh, and explain along the way uh, what we expect to see and then see if that actually is what happens. So now, as you can see, we have our sections here. Right now, my unit is in the lower left section like this. But the changes I am about to make up here where I will block this passageway actually happens in this section up here. So what I expect to happen is that when I ask my unit to navigate from here to here and I block this passageway, it will continue on its route until it meets this section here where changes have been made. And only when it reaches this will it be notified that, oops, since you got your path, something changed and it will uh, reevaluate its path and find another way. So let's see if that is what happens. So I'm just going to block this off and as you can see it moves along and now it will be planned because now it got into that section. So what does this achieve? Well, it achieves um, that you will not have units react to stuff happening in areas of the grid that are not relevant to them. So when I, my, move, my, my unit moves around up here, it doesn't need to know what happens down here, and it won't. The only time it will be notified is that if it already had a path moving down here, it will be notified once it reaches the area that have changed, the areas that have changed. So, hope that makes sense. Um, now, of course, what this also means is that it will react um, somewhat late to changes because it will only react when it reaches the section that changed. Of course you can adjust this to your needs by adjusting how many sections are on your grid, subsections are on your grid. Um, so for instance if you wanted it to react to any change on the grid anywhere you could simply set this to 1 and 1. It would just be one big cell so in this case it would just react instantly so when I make it go there and I block it off it would just react right away. So it even reacts faster than at interval and now it only still only reacts when I make changes. So right now it's not replanning and it won't replan at all until I do something else that changes or potentially changes the path of my unit. So it won't replan until I do something else. It will of course also replan if I do something up there uh, even though that doesn't affect the root of it. Because it doesn't know, but it will check it out because this is one big section. Alright, I hope that made sense. So that was about the three replanning modes. And again, unless you have a very good reason, you should stick to the dynamic mode and then adjust your subsections so that it matches the behavior you want from your units.